This is what you will be able to do. This video is going to get you started coding. First, download VS Code. The link will be in the description. Then download Git. The link will also be in the description. Go to this website, github.com. This is basically a website that is going to store your code and you can choose whether you want to make it public or not. It is just like iCloud or Google Drive, but for coding. You sign up to GitHub, just enter your email, create a password, solve the puzzle, come up with a username. Now go to frontendmentor.io, link will also be in the description. Click on sign up and choose sign up with GitHub. Frontend Mentor is almost a social media platform for frontend developers. There are a lot of challenges, both free and paid. It can take you all the way from a beginner to a solid position where you can get a job. Now install the things that we have downloaded, VS Code and Git. Just open them and follow the instructions. After installed, open VS Code and go to the extensions tab on the left sidebar. Search for an extension called Live Preview and install it. Go to the challenges tab on frontendmentor.io. Sort them by the difficulty easiest first. Choose one of the first few challenges. It will take you to the challenge page. Click the start the challenge and download the resources. Now go to the desktop of your computer, create a new folder and call it code Coding projects. This is going to be a folder where you store all of your coding projects in the future. Open the new folder we have just created. Create a new folder challenge 1. Unzip the resources we just downloaded into the challenge 1 folder. When I was actually starting out, I would use this format. The first two numbers were to sort the folders in an easier way and the full name to remember the challenge. Now open VS Code and open the folder challenge 1. You can do that from the files menu on the left sidebar. Now you're good to go, you can start coding away. Just launch the live preview extension at the bottom info panel or from the command palette. Use ChatGPT use every resource that you can and remember that coding is the new literacy if you actually want a video on how to code drop the likes below and go to the description you will find the link there to get a short guide on coding just enter your email and i will send it to you